who killed Jesus. Since the Jews did it, the Romans did it, they're everybody's responsible, but who ultimately did it? Well, I would say I would say if I was to start this off, I'd be real careful, but I wouldn't start so much with this, depending upon who the person is asking. But I would say God did it, you know. Um, it was something that Peter said was from the predetermined plan of God. I think that's in uh, Acts chapter 4. But it's the predetermined plan of God that brought this about. And so it was in a, in a very real sense, here we get back to that term of responsibility, people will be held responsible for their actions even though it was part of the predetermined plan of God. Even though it was part of what God had in eternity past had said, this is how we're going to do it, but yet people are fully responsible for their choices, both the Romans and uh, the Jews, in which uh, even Jesus himself looked to the Romans and said to Pilate, he who has handed me over to you is guilty of the greater sin. So you're guilty of a sin, yes, but there's a greater sin going on behind the scenes that people are going to be held more guilty for. So people will be held responsible for it, even though this was part of the predetermined plan of God. And this comes into this, this eternal, this eternal uh, uh, paradox between human responsibility and divine sovereignty or predetermination. How do you come to grips with that? I'll give you my $25 card on that one. <laughs> I mean, I... I I think there's a few things. I have primarily five things that you don't come to grips with. There, there's something you research and research and research, but you finally say, as, uh, as God says, the secret things belong to the Lord. There are finally some secret things that we're not going to be able to get to. Um, what the uh, church has historically called apophatic theology, theology of mystery, to where we leave it alone. And those five primary things are, how did God create everything out of nothing? I can't explain it. There's, I'll, st I'll give a $25 gift card out to someone on that. Um, how did Jesus become man, fully man, and yet remain fully God and stay above the arch? I'll give a $25 gift card on that. Um, how did, how's the Bible fully of God and fully of man? How is it that the Trinity works out how can there be three yet one and then this one how can god be sovereign predetermine all that takes place yet man be fully responsible for the actions those are the five those are my big five you can probably bring up a few more but those are the ones that stay stable that i don't have those pieces of the puzzle put into my big theology but i can still see my theology clearly enough not to need them do you want me to give you the $25? <laughs> Everybody was taking notes right now. Okay, five questions that are guaranteed to get me the gift card. <laughs> but I think it is important to say that there are those things that we can't <coughs> figure out that remind us. As Michael said earlier, there's this arch and all of space, time, history, and matter is below the arch. God's above it. And when we come to those issues, we realize, I'm not going to figure him out. 